He wrote this book, uh, Little Weirds, and uh, just all kinds of those observations. I mean, it's just really nice. How long did you spend working on this? This is really nice. Well, um, I got the book deal. I had a year to do it, which meant like about 10 months of procrastination. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, I think that's for everybody. Yeah. Like, they just announced that uh, President Obama's book, he made this book deal like the minute he left office. Yeah. And that they just got moved for like the second time. Because mm -hmm. clearly, He's just chilling. <laughs> he should. Yeah, he should He's chill a out. human being, and yeah. he's chilling, and you know, maybe he's just like, I don't know, I wanna get high, I don't wanna get, you know. That's right. <laughs> Where's your book? Uh, you'll get your book. Yeah, I mean, that's, that, I mean, I, there's, I would never dare to compare myself to Barack Obama, but, the, uh, but, but in terms of, of wanting do. to get high, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it all the time. Call me one of our coolest presidents, but I wanna yeah. get high. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I wanted to get high. So, uh, but, uh, so I took, I, I sort of wrote it um, by myself on Martha's Vineyard in my parents' empty house. And it, I really kind of did it over a couple months. Right. Yeah, just like an emotional. You know, you, you do say you write about your dreams and your dreams are <laughs> yeah. quite strange, quite weird. Yeah. And, 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 uh, and but in a very specific way. Yeah, in that they're disappointing and boring. Well, it's, you take it from here. Sure. So I, I was um, having a series of dreams that were like exceptionally boring. In the book, I write about a dream where I'm waiting in line for a sandwich, mm -hmm. and that's it. That's it? Yeah. I, see, this is what I love, is that so many people think that their dreams are really interesting, and they never are, yeah. and you go out of your way to say, no, 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 these dreams are not interesting. They're garbage, and then, yeah. and, they're, and then you read them, and they really aren't interesting. They suck, yeah. Like, it's a new level, you yeah. know, of not interesting. Like, what's another one? Another one is a, what I describe to myself, I guess, as a tensionless seven-hour dream during which an airplane landed during the day. <laughs> and it landed just fine. Yeah, and the message of the dream is nothing cared that nothing cared. Not great. No. Not great. Not great. In the sandwich dream, it's like at least I could get to the end of the line. But you never do. No, I don't. No, I don't. Do you know what the sandwich is that you want to get? I usually want the same sandwich. Okay. Yeah, but the sandwich in itself isn't that exciting. It's just like turkey and mayo and lettuce and hot sauce, American yeah. cheese. <laughs> So the sandwich is just a sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, the sandwich isn't like a treasured chest made out of bread with like my rabbi's face coming out of yeah. it being like, no, no, no! <laughs> it's like, that's what it is. And the worst part is that, or the nicest part, whatever, my fiance like every night has these like gorgeous mythical dreams. Like what? Like it's like, he's like, I'm like, babe, what did you dream about? And he's like, uh, well, I'm, a thousand years in the past, and I'm going down the Nile River with a young pharaoh. To my left is a bird singing opera, and then I realize we do have multi lives. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, what? And he's like, what about you? And I'm like, I tripped on the peanut and I fell down. <laughs> like, <laughs> bad. Wow. Yeah. Your fiance sounds like he's a centaur, like a magical creature. He kind of is in a way. It's sort of the thing where like when I met him, I was like, don't spook it. Like, don't do anything don't to frighten. make him like run back into the enchanted forest. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to meet him. Yeah. I'm sure I'll be invited to the wedding. <laughs> I love it. Biggest laugh of the night. <laughs> you just saw a moment of real awkwardness. I'm like, we don't know how many people were happy. Yeah, well, yeah, you know yeah. <laughs> but I'm busy that day, God, whatever it is uh, anyway. I lost my calendar. Yeah. Um, you can only fit so many people on a yacht. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no Irish. Uh, <laughs> Which I would respect, by the way. No. We have a, uh, we have a clip uh, from your uh, stand-up show, Stage Fright. Uh, yes. Any setup needed for this, or should we just let it roll? Oh, well, okay. I, I really love this clip. I went to a midnight Catholic mass, um, which is 
not something I've done before. Right. Um, yeah, and something never I've, could tell by the face. Something I've done many, many times sure. that you have never done. Yeah, yeah, and I was blown away by by how positive it was and that they were like doing it at midnight, which is like party time. Um, yeah, so it's just kind of a joke about how vi how exciting Christianity is. <laughs> I, okay, I can get behind this. Yeah. Uh, kind of. Here we go. Let's take a look at this clip from Stage Fright. Like the Christmas songs, I'm thinking about it. They're all just like, jingle, jangle, everybody gets a present. And like, Santa comes down, but he never catches on fire. We don't know how it happens. Like, everything's fine. We never worry. That's not in our culture. Like, and like the Jewish songs, like the happy songs that you sing before you open your Barbie van or whatever you're lucky enough to get. I got the Barbie van. <laughs> uh, it, like, those songs are just like, they tried to kill us in the past. <laughs> They're gonna do it again. Rest for just a moment. There's only one drop of oil for a million people. <laughs> There's advantages <laughs> to your religion as well. Yeah, that's a, sure. That's a very catchy tune, It's though. a really catchy tune. You it's know, an earworm. Yeah, I yeah. have a bunch of friends who have said that they've started singing it in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> they so tried to kill us in, in the past. past. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's in there now. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, when I'm tucking my son in, I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah. They tried to kill us in the past. Get it in there. Get it in there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Good night. <laughs>